So today, we've just cleared Town Square. We're, we are now in Stone Hill. This is a rather peaceful kind of atmosphere. <sighs> and it just, I can imagine the air is so clean here. Minus the uh, ram poop. Yeah, we got a new enemy, and I think these are just called rams. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. You think you can charge me? Well, you certainly proved me wrong. Oh, and then you're gonna flash your butt in my face. Thanks. How about a flame to the face? Yeah, that's what I thought. I figured you'd see it my way. So did you. Oh, I'm glad everybody's learning to see it through Spyro's eyes. See it my way or die by a fiery death. Or get charged by my horns, yes. That doesn't sound like tyranny at all. Hmm. And again, to be fair, they open fire first. Sorry, I wanted to line myself up there because I wanted to be all fancy. You know, try to get all these in one go. Unlike that. Oh, dude. What the heck? Alright, dude. Or, uh, Lendar. Tell me about something. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Who, me? I'm innocent. I'm an innocent little purple dragon. Nope, can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> um, actually what he was talking about, I suppose I should probably show this. Anytime you rescue a dragon, this becomes like a checkpoint within the level. Additionally, if you step on the platform I already showed this, you can go ahead and save your game. Just for an extra added measure. I'm not going to do that right now because I want to make sure this actually records. Uh, yeah, speaking of which, <laughs> this is like the umpteenth time I've had to kind of go through this. So forgive me if I tend to be a little skipperoo-ish. You know, I tend to speed through this a little quicker than maybe what my n normal, usual, tutorial-ish beginning videos uh, tend to do. Um, for those who don't know... I'm actually uh, recording this on a new computer because my old one finally bit the dust! So, I'm hoping that this turns out okay. Anyway, Gavin! Help me out here, Watch man. the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Mm-hmm. Sure, whatever makes you sleep at night. <gasps> Ooh, a treasure chest. Give me! Aw, oh, that didn't work. How about if I flame you? How about a second time? A third time? A fourth time? A fifth time? <laughs> eh. Dang it. And my lack of posable thumbs. Link makes that look too dang easy. So we got a locked chest. We can't really do anything with that right now. We're gonna have to just remember it's there and hopefully remember to find it whenever we find the key. But in the meantime, let's go and explore again. Excuse you! Oh, well, excuse me. Yeah, and then excuse you. Sorry. I forgot. I need to make sure I'm polite here. Hmm. Can't be having my rudeness interfere with, uh, carrying myself. You know, carrying. Not carrying about, but carrying as in a C-A-R-R-Y-I-N-G. I know it sounds like I said carrying, but anyway. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back <laughs> to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> oh, I love the old dragons in this game. The ones that are, like, stereotypical and whatnot. So yeah, he was just telling us that we can return home. I didn't actually acknowledge this, but uh, I guess it's good, a good thing because he actually had a reason. This is how we get and exit each of the levels. Get and exit? Jeez, man. Work on your wordage there, boy. Alternatively, if you didn't want to try and look for that, you could just pause and go to exit level, and I think you will keep the treasure you collect. This isn't like a mandatory way to exit the level, but it's it makes you feel good about yourself if you've managed to find the return home portal. Uh, Something you may or may not have known if you were playing this for your first time and you just happen to be, like, looking up, like, trying to find... Man, where's the last bit of treasure? Um, if we push triangle and hold it down, we can actually look around, up and down. And if we get up here and we look down, you'll notice there's, like, a little beach area we can kind of land on. Or kind of. We can land on it. If we couldn't kind of land on it, like this, like this water here, we can't kind of land on this. Because, ouch, Horse Spyro can actually swim. I think I've already demonstrated that a long time ago. Yeah. Forgive me if I seem a little frazzled, but I I don't actually remember what I have said, what I have not said, because... Ugh. Anyway, I've already explained the reasoning. Ooh. 
A key. Keys usually mean a good thing. Unless you're sore, then they attract all kinds of trouble. Let's go ahead and grab that so it doesn't attract the trouble for him. Ba -ba -da -ba -bum -bum. Onward to more adventure, I suppose. Mm, yes, yes. So, this place is called Stone Hill. I mean, I see the stones, stony-like areas, and then I see the small hill here. It's not much of a hill, though. Perhaps we'll see some more hills if we explore more of the level. Where's the chest? Oh, there it is. But, dude! I didn't want to get spun around. You know, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like the spirally whirly wind, right round. Ooh, I love the explosion effect. So instead of just opening the chest like we would in some kind of Legend of Zelda game, it just... The key goes in, click, and then it kaboosh! Triggers some kind of explosion, and then the, the gems rain out. Sometimes those will have just one gem in them, but it's like a gem that's worth a lot. And other times it'll rain a bunch of little gems like it did there. As we progress in this game, we will actually have to collect more treasure, so... Objects and enemies and etc. etc. are going to have more more expensive gems, I guess that's what you could call these. Because, I mean, I already explained this, but just as a refresher, red gems are worth one, green gems are worth two, blue gems are worth five, rams ramming you in the head are worth a lot of pain, yellow gems, which we actually have seen a few, are worth ten, and um, the purple one, which I don't believe we'll see for quite some time, is worth a whopping twenty-five. That guy we just killed there was known as a shepherd, I believe. They, um... They can be kind of problematic if you get too close to them, and they're also kind of funny if you listen to them. Whenever they, you come up to them, they taunt you. Oh, come on. Oh, you laugh at me. Well, how about I laugh at this? Oh! oh. <laughs> Man, that made me feel so much better. Hmm, how much treasure do we need to get? Let me check the inventory here. We need to get 200, so we're actually... Not too far off. And it looks like we've completed a total of 8% of the game. Very nice, very nice indeed. I'll rescue you in just a sec, dude. I gotta get this treasure here. Because, you know, priorities. Gildas! How you doing, dude? Hello, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You Sign bet. me up! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump. And try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Ooh! Now that's going to come in handy. That's something you'll actually probably see me do a lot unconsciously. So, we already know about the top of the jump thing where you get the maximum amount of glidage. But what you didn't probably know is if you, as you're gliding and you wanted it to drop like right here, you can press triangle and gravity just boom works in uh, overtime and drops spiral immediately on the spot without any like forward momentum. It's very handy for narrow platforming stages. And just in general, it's kind of nice being able to control fully how your glide works and functions. And let's see here, we got another thief, it looks like. What? Yeah, I guess, I should, I guess it's kind of good that happened. If you're thinking of trying to be overly sneaky when you're trying to cut these thieves off as you're charging, you know, using your uh, running or outrunning uh, knowledge, where you can kind of cut corners, if you cut too many corners and you miss the thief, they'll actually... They'll be smart enough and just turn back around and run the other direction. Definitely kind of some food for thought for later, because there's some areas that can be very dangerous, because there will be a lot more hazards, you know, to have to dodge and avoid. Whereas, you know, here, you got kind of an open field. Speaking of open... Ooh, got some hills in the background. I want to explore! Ow. Well, maybe if I just go over here, maybe it won't be... Well, fine. Be an invisible force field and prevent me from exploring potentially unfinished portions of the game. See if I care, you big bullies. Jeez, man. Let's see here. I think we gotta actually explore some more of this little castle area. Or castle? I guess you could call this a castle. It's a very small one. Maybe it's a fortress. Not fortress, mind you, the Pokemon. Got to get these little straggler gems here. <laughs> Smells like some more treasure. I sense more treasures nearby, guys. Ooh. Yummy. Oh, man, we only need four more. That is just, like, a slap in the face, almost. I'd rather, like, have a lot more treasure to have to find than only a few gems left to find, because then it's... It's not quite such a... 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's not quite such a tedious task to have to dig around and sniff out the treasure, or snuff out the treasure, if you will. Not that we're dipping snuff. Ooh, I don't recommend that. That's kind of gross. And if you happen to do it, you're not gross. I just, I don't particularly find the habit to be very fond and attractive to uh, uh, see people do. It's kind of like watching somebody pick their scab, you know? It's something that people do, and I'm like, hey, if you do it, you do it, but... Uh. I'm not particularly a fan of watching people do it. It's just, ugh, it's kind of cringe news. It's like watching somebody dissect a frog, you know? All right, well, with that, we have uh, successfully cleared this entire world out, Stonehill and Town Square. I think we did quite a number in this video. So with that in mind, I'm going to say this now. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you bunches. Love ya. Hugs, 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 air hugs. Hurrah, bear hug. And I will see you all next time as we explore a couple more worlds within the Artisan's homeworld. I believe we will be taking on, I think, the boss, because we I remember a dragon saying that um, we need to explore one of the worlds before we could actually go see it. We're going to do that. We're also going to see there's probably another world we're going to see. I think it's in the maze over there. And then that'll probably be just about all we got to do in the Artisan's homeworld. Anyway, me uh, rambling aside, take care, y'all. Peace out. And remember, don't let your tail swap.